Welcome to this presentation on the Message Bus Probe's webhook transport configuration. The webhook replaces the HTTP transport for HTTP transport reception. The webhook transport is significantly faster than the HTTP transport. The presentation will walk through configuring a simple webhook, show how to send test events using the curl command line application and highlight successful message reception log messages. Afterwards, the SSL configuration will be given. The Message Bus Probe is configured for webhook listening using three main files. The Probe's property file, the Transport Properties file and the XML Transformer or JSON parser file depending on the event's message payload. The property file defines the probe's main property settings. Here the probe is configured for the webhook transport on port 12345. The FQDN is the probe server's fully qualified domain name. The webhook transport file is referred to a location in the probe's directory, as it is best to use copies of the transport properties files, as these are shared with gateways. The transport properties file in this case was created manually as it is a simple example. In the example the XML transformer file is used as the message will be sent as XML events. The transport properties file defines the root path of the webhook URI making the endpoint in the XML transformers file the same text. The curl command comes with Linux. In this example, the header defines the message contents as XML, with the data or event being described using netcall XML event syntax. The event is posted to the probe's URL as described by the probe's property and transport properties setting. When received correctly, the curl command line should report 200 OK and log the probe's given name. In the probe's log file, it should report the message and syntax are OK. Confirm the endpoint on which the message was received and log the event's tokens after being passed. In this case by the XSL transformer. The probe will log some event tokens as well as the actual token sent. These tokens vary depending upon the probe and transformer package versions. For the SSL webhook example given here, more of the probe property settings are provided. The probe is configured as default, which is for simple one-dimensional JSON messages. Here only the port is set, so the probe will use the probe server's FQDN, rather than the one defined by the host property. The best practice object server settings are also set, along with the message bus probe's heartbeat interval. The SSL configuration is defined using the three probe property settings. Enable SSL, key store and key store password. The probe's key store uses the probe server's fully qualified domain name to label the SSL certificate. In this example the CA was created locally using the Linux OpenSSL toolkit. Its name is given as root CA. The probe certificate was created using this certificate authority with its common name and alias being the probe server's fully qualified domain name. Check the key entry types and country codes if there are issues with SSL other than expiration dates and cryptology. The SSL transport properties file can be exactly the same as for the non-SSL. In this case, TLS version 1.2 is set to be enforced. The other settings remain the same. When sending SSL messages using curl, the CA certificate is required. Other than this, the curl command uses the same options as with non-SSL. In this case, the data or event syntax is different since the probe is now configured to receive JSON messages by default. The same curl messages will be seen alongside any additional SSL messages. 200 OK confirms the message was sent successfully. On successful event reception, the probe will log that the SSL handshake was successful and echo out HTTP 200 OK messages. The probe passes the JSON data using the probe's default JSON parser and echoes out the event tokens as before in the probe's event processor message block 
With the simple JSON messages, there is no need to use the probe's JSON property settings or create specific endpoint parser configurations. The message bus probe's manual includes a number of examples on how best to configure the probe's JSON parser settings.